Howard Morris. It's been a long time people performed together. I'm sure you're wondering what circumstance brought them together again for tonight's show. Well, actually, it came about by sheer accident. save all their money for that first trip to Europe. Here is just such an American lady trying to find the real Paris. You know, 
I took my, when, I, when, I, when I first came here, I, I just came here about three days ago, you know. I was dressed just like you. I mean, you were dressed. <laughs> But I was dressed like an American tourist. When I walk down the street and go into a shop or anything, they'd say, Here comes the Yankee Dallaire. You know what I mean? Ditto! They see you coming. They tell us they had counting right away. You can't get changed. There's no change in place. So I said, <laughs> I said to myself, Maynard, if you're going to be in Paris, you might, well, you might as well dress like a parasite. You know what I mean? Oh, I say so. When in Rome? Do as the Romanians do. <laughs> say that again. Romanians, yes. Have, have you been to Rome? Funny you should ask that. I just came from there. <laughs> That's my next song. You're kidding. No. Oh, my goodness gracious me. You'll have such time, really? such fun, such really? joy. Oh, you'll... I have to warn you, though. There's a street down there in Rome where it just isn't safe for a woman. Where, where, where? <laughs> Called the Via Veneto. What happens there? Well, at a certain hour on the Via Veneto, the men think they have a right to flirt with any woman around. And they just go along, pinch, 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 pinch. Yes! Where? Right on the street. Goodness! Oh, yes, I just thought I'd just warn you, you know what I mean? Well, forewarned is forearmed. And you're going to need forearms, boy. Are you warm? No, I'm just a little thirsty. Oh, oh, may I give you another bit of advice, please? Uh, if I were you, I wouldn't drink their water here. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I don't eat their food, either. <laughs> Smart. How do you live? <laughs> you know, Yankee know how. I brought my own. Oh, cornflakes. Would you care for some breakfast? Breakfast? My goodness, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm still on American time. <laughs> you don't even use their time, either. <laughs> Why'd you come here? Ah. Well, I feel you have to try new things in order to grow as a human being. True, true, true. A closed mind is the devil's playground. Oh, yeah. That's all motion. Pass them, pass them, pass them, dip them. Pass them, pass them. Your cornflakes. Uh, you eat cornflakes, you know, can I make you some milk for your cornflakes? Oh, I'm sorry. You wouldn't even use their cows. <laughs> But you're not going to eat your cornflakes dry, are you? Over here, I eat them with wine. <laughs> cornflakes with wine? Red or white? Uh, red wine with cornflakes? <laughs> it's white wine for cornflakes, red wine for oatmeal. <laughs> How I'm drunk of me. My <laughs> Via Veneto. Via Veneto. I want to put that down. V-I-A, V-N-T-O. want to remember that. Via Veneto. You know something, in my opinion. Yes. All of Europe is oversexed. You can say that again. All of Europe is... better not, there's a cop on the corner. Single girl just isn't safe over here. You're safe. I mean, I mean, I mean, a woman of your character and, and, and upbringing and, and, uh, and, and glasses. I mean, and, and, uh, I mean, a woman that's a, such a, a, a sophisticate as you. I mean, uh, they wouldn't have dare approach you. They wouldn't? No, no, no. no. You see, no, see, see that girl out there? Now, see the girl on the corner, right? Oh, see her walking? Now, that's the kind of girl that's just looking for trouble. How can you tell that? Well, it's just by the way she's walking. You see her hair piled up on top of her head, showing the nakedness of the nape of her neck? <laughs> oh, yes. And, and not, the, the big giveaway is her clothes. You see the sleuth in her dress? Now, Miss, you know she's just asking for trouble. on you. Oh, be a Veneto. Oh, no, no, I got that. <laughs> I would like a memento of this moment, this occasion. Oh, uh, well, Americans have... meeting. Well, I haven't got anything on me. Would you like a Frank or a Sue? Oh, no, thank you. Would you take a picture of me and then I'll take one of you so I can prove we met here? In gay Paris, yeah. right. All right. Just strike a continental pose. Well, hello there. Uh, <laughs> there you are. Now, now, one of you. Very continental when I first saw you. All right, here we are. Oh, big chat with you. I've been so 
Oh, it's very coming. refreshing. Listen, I'm it. going over to the, to the Eiffel Tower. May I drop you somewhere? Well, it won't take you out of your way. Well, where are you going? Rome. The Evento. We'll get there just in time for the pitching hour, right? Uh, Hooray uh, for the red card. <laughs> This is John Harlan. Tonight we present a documentary on man's explorations beneath the sea on the CBS wet paper. We will show you a filmed record of three brave men chosen for this experiment because of their well-adjusted personalities. Mission, Operation Close Quarters. What is that depth, Commander? What's the depth? 200 fathoms. 200 fathoms. 200 fathoms. Yes, sir, Commander. Hey, uh, we're going to be down here for four months. You can drop that commander stuff. Name is just Jim, right? Why, right, Jim. You can call me Paul. Right, you can Paul. call me anything but late for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> fellas, sorry. Well, I never heard that. Uh, well, we're going to need a little humor down here. Well, that's little enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I have to tell you fellas something. Yeah. It is an honor to serve with you guys. Oh, no. no, it is really. The honor is mutual. It's our honor. It's our honor. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't we settle in and uh, pick out the bunks, huh? Well, which is the best bunk? The best bunk's the bottom bunk. Well, you're the captain. You take the best bunk. No, I don't. No, as a captain, saying. you should. Well, as a captain, I give you a direct order. You take the bottom bunk, you take the next best, and I'll sleep on the worst bunk in the top. Right? Oh. Now, that's what I call compatibility. Well, I'll tell you, that's what it shows us. Because we're compatible, you know? I know. I just said it. I have to say it again. It's an honor to serve with you. Ah, it's an honor. Oh, honor. <laughs> What kind of shaving lotion are you wearing? <laughs> not wearing any shaving lotion. Gee, it smells great. It smells like a birthday cake, you know? <laughs> you wear any of your shaving lotion? I don't wear any, do you? No, I don't wear any. <laughs> <sighs> Boy, are we lucky. We all have great natural smells. <laughs> well, that's why I chose it, because we're compatible and we smell great. You know? <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, pack, huh? Yeah, okay, let's do let's that, right? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry for being so short. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. We're much too tall. We're much too tall. Oh, I'm back here. Hey, what's that? It's my uh, lucky duck. What do you call it? Just lucky duck. Jeez. <laughs> it's my kid. It's my kid wanted me to have for luck. Hey, would you guys like to learn Italian? Hey, what's there? Why not? Wrote along my Italian language tapes. Dove is gabinetto. Dove is gabinetto. Hey, you got good ear. Good ear. I hope you guys like music. A boy of talent. Yeah, for a rainy night. <laughs> you know, I think they told me this is going to be a dangerous mission. I'm telling you, this is going to be a picnic. It's going to be a fun picnic. That's right. By the light on the silvery moon. And so, Operation Close Quarters was launched. The days turned into weeks. The weeks turned into months. Four long, tedious months. Your silvery dreams will bring your dreams to be cuddling soon. Will you shut up?
you give me the harmonica? As a favor. no one will be allowed to see them. <laughs> Until then, we would like to present... Well, 
Well, you're nothing but a horrible... <laughs> you're nothing but a rotten... Is that the doorbell or a dirty word? Sit down wherever you like. Oh, well. Can I take that, please? Yes, would you? <laughs> Plenty of meat on that. <laughs> We're going to eat. Uh, may I offer you something? Would you, would you like a cigarette, please? Oh, I don't know how to smoke. Get <laughs> a cigarette? Uh, uh, no, thank you. There's a couple of big ones in there. <laughs> Anything, Clara. Uh, would you like anything? Oh, I don't like to drink. <laughs> well, who does? <laughs> but there are some things we just have to do. Isn't it true? Sure, this. Gee, where's where? <laughs> we're running short of. Uh, we're, I think we're running out of uh, dirty glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just have to improvise. Need uh, Yeah, we are. We'll just use this here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How about a nice martini, eh? Huh? <laughs> now we'll start the lady off. A little piccolini. <laughs> Something wrong? Well, there's no ice in here. Oh, how <laughs> Excuse me, Fuck, I beg your pardon. Ice, ice, ice. Is that no? I think it's ice. Ice, ice, ice. Oh, <laughs> ice. There we are, ice. There we are. So if we get robbed, they wouldn't think of uh, keeping our ice in there. There you go. Thank you. There you are. Aren't you going to join us? No, no. Well, uh, I'm not <laughs> Who are you? I'm in love with your wife. 
I'm madly in love with her. It's driving me crazy. I don't know what to do. Give her up. She's no good. <laughs> yeah, you don't need her. Hey, Snow White. <laughs> Remember, don't talk about your mother. Oh, shut up. Well, look who's here. <laughs> Darling, why didn't you tell me Chucky and his funny-looking wife were here? Oh. Move, 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 I'll squeeze right in. There you go. There you go. Hey, would you, uh, folks want something to eat? Oh, we'd yes, love I'd something, love yes. That. Well, you won't get it here. <laughs> All she knows how to do is drink and sing off key. <laughs> and play spin bottles. It's you and me. What do I do? She'll show you. <laughs> do, 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 do. But you, uh, you're going to like this neighborhood. It's a nice place. Everybody gets along, you know what I mean? See how nice they get along? Beautiful. Did you like to watch some television or something? Well, isn't there a, a time limit to this game? Oh, this, don't worry about this. See, she really wants to kiss me. But she's so embarrassed because there are strangers in the room, you know? So she kisses him. It's all up here. Something, I don't know what it is. Oh, would you excuse me for a moment? fought to hate each other as we do. And this is what the maniac and I have going for us. <laughs> oh, now you see that? It's an act of love. See that? Well, if she didn't love me, would you take the trouble to give me a shot in the back like that? And if I didn't love her, would I do this? <laughs> if I do that to her, you see that? That's a handful of love. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Well, you can't go by us. We didn't understand Mary Poppins. Oh. <laughs> I am? Thank you. 
sweetheart. You feel a little tired? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel better oh, now. That's good. <laughs> hey, what do you say to you? Play a little poker? Huh? No, righty. Okay. Here's your poker. Here's my
find out that I'm marrying somebody of the same faith as I am. <laughs> Strawberry! Yeah. 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 Like and put it on my finger, I'd marry me. If I could find someone, they carry cross the threshold. I'd carry me, marry me, carry me, marry me, carry me, marry me, carry me. La Scampi Opera House presents Gallipacci, the story of a clown. An unfaithful wife and a broken nose.
Apache's the wife. That's an organic Apache. <laughs> Get west the mio, eh? Something's rotten here in Rip City. <laughs> West me, cake west me see, cake west me see, cake west a cosa, nosa to nosa, the megan a whoopie, cake west the minio problem, cake west cause me see, who is the Mitel Galipachi? He could get mad and hit me. Big West Mio in a third. Get up the deal. You 
I'm sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, nice working with you. <laughs> game of automobile, there is much concern with safety. American Motors has built safety into every one of its products. Watch. If American Motors didn't build safety into its cars, you wouldn't get an outside rear view mirror, pull group handles, push button locking system and higher strength locks and doors, dish wheel, lane changer turn signals, four-way flashers, energy absorbing steering column, back system warning light, safety styled and padded instrument panel, double safety system, non-flammable carpet and padded visors, day-night safety mounted mirror, molded ceiling, non-glare windshield wipers and washers, high-strength windshield, seat belts and shoulder belt anchors, coils and seats, and fatigue, wink lights, backup lights, then tires with tread wear indicators, and safety rim wheels, and engines with reserve safety power, and a solid single unit body. And that's what you'd get if we didn't build the safety in nothing. That's your kind of safety. American Motors builds your kind of car. And so the game goes on. How will it end? It won't. The players will continue to bring out new products and new ideas. And you, the public, will decide which is best for you. It isn't good to know that there is a player like American Motors concerned with your kind of safety, your kind of value, your kind of excitement, your kind of quality. American Motors builds your kind of car. It's been nice seeing you. It's been nice seeing you, sis. Carl, it's been nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. <laughs> I didn't get no kiss. Neither. Nice seeing all of you tonight. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Howard Motor Special was brought to you by American Motors on behalf of its dealers, where you will find Ambassador, Marlin, Rebel, Rambler American. Proof that American Motors builds your kind of car. <laughs>